on 18 yeah. to be able to cut it and get it to the point where you at least had an opportunity to win. Yeah. Uh, what, what changed in there to allow you to... I think we, uh, it was a case of us finding a little bit our identity and what we want to do. Um, when we start playing with pace, um, playing aggressive defense, you know, switching, making it hard on the other team, um, then we can get on a roll. And I, I think that was an instance of us kind of finding that in that moment. And your vantage point on the last look, I mean, did you think it was good? Did you think you'd be I mean, when he, yeah, 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 when he let it go, it looked good, but it was a, you know, good defense by Mikhail. Um, and Spence almost got a piece of it, and it made him double pump. And on a shot like that, I mean, you know, it's, it's good defense, better offense. Got to give the guy credit. Um, but still, there's no excuse. Um, but, you know, Kel was guarding all night, moving his feet, and he made a tough shot. Cam, that corner three, you hit the tie. Was that a set play? Then you uh, no, the no, absolutely not. Um, you know, Doe, Doe got loose and got to the basket, and, and he found me in the corner, so it was a great play on him to, you know, probe and, 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 and make that extra play uh, for the next guy. Um, and it just found me, and, you know, I had missed one from that corner already and thought, no way, that one should have missed. So thought, no way I was going to miss that last one. I mean, just going, I mean, you guys were down, I think it was eight, with like a minute 20 left, and you get back to tie. Just what did you make of your guys' late game execution up until that straight shot? You know, there's things we still need to clean up for sure, things we still need to clean up for sure. But I think one thing, you know, Anybody can shoot those final, in those final minute and a half, two minutes, which is kind of what we ran into the problem with Philly. You know, you every team kind of has late game offense, late game sets they go to, um, and, and things of that nature. Um, and in that game against Philly, you could see us bogged down in those last four minutes of what are we doing. Uh, I think today we kind of just kept our flow in those moments. And if you're open, shoot it, attack them, um, spread them out. Um, and, and it was able to generate some points late. So I think that's something that we can build off of um, and understanding what we want to execute down the stretch. As somebody that grew up, you know, in one system, what do you find, I guess, more challenging to adjust to, the way they run their offense here or the way they defend? I think it's the defensive end. Um, defense in the NBA is a lot of ways to do it, and it's all kind of on principles, you know, principles, principles, principles. And... Not to make any excuses, right? But for four years, and I've had um, a coaching staff who was very adamant on certain principles, and um, you know, it was on us to execute them at a high level. And after day after day after day of working on them, they get a little ingrained in your head, right? Um, so some of the principles we have here in Brooklyn are almost complete opposite, you know. So it's a lot of it, you know, it is largely the same defense. Is defense, you got to stop the other team. Um, but once we kind of iron out those those instances where you know you're reacting um a quarter of a second later i think our defense will be a lot sharper once once that becomes instinct you know once we're playing on that there's a couple of rotations that i know personally over the last five games that i've missed just because i'm kind of caught in a middle ground where my mind is reverting back to to old habits um but i think it's getting better um and you know as long as we continue to clean it up and and i think as when we're the aggressors on the defensive end that covers for a lot you know, we're the aggressors that covers for a lot of that indecisiveness. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, and it's something that I think um, we'll be able to build off of.